There are certain animals in the world today that immediately strike fear into the hearts of men when their names are said. Sharks could be absolutely one of those, because at first they were just things that you would see if you went out to the sea. But once they began to get into pop culture through things like Jaws, well, people's fear of them grew to astronomical levels. So much so that it's hard to imagine that there are creatures out there that could beat a shark in a straight up fight. But guess what? There are some that can. Join us as I show you 20 animals that can defeat a shark. Number 20. The Orca This creature is capable of killing even a shark. That's dramatic enough for you, right? It's also a nice way to kick things off. Now I know that many of you are likely skeptical that I could think of 20 creatures that could beat a shark in a fight. However, make no mistake, even sharks have something to fear out there, and one of those things is the orca, or perhaps you may know them by their other name, the killer whale. While they technically are not rivals, and at times they don't even inhabit the same waters, there's no mistaking that when these two meet, it often does not go very well for the shark. In fact, even when you put an orca up against a great white, the orca wins because of its size. A great white shark can be rather large, but an orca can be even larger, not to mention much more heavy. Adding to the shark's woes is that killer whales are not exactly afraid to fight and hunt as a unit. They're infamous for playing with their food before they eat it, and that also includes when a shark is on the menu. And if you don't believe me, well, one time in South Africa, a bunch of great white shark corpses were found. The problem wasn't that they were dead, it was that they were missing their livers and other organs. It would later be realized that it was orcas who had done that to the sharks. They killed them and then dissected them solely for the purpose of eating their organs. So yeah, when it comes to a one-on-one -on -one fight, you have to bet on the orca every time. They're much more powerful, able to live a lot longer, and arguably are quite much more mean than the shark is. To put it bluntly, if a great white shark did have a rival in the world, it would absolutely be the orca, and the shark population should be grateful that they don't come after them on the regular. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Sperm Whales now, if you thought that I was done with these great big massive aquatic creatures, well, you're not even close. Especially since orcas are actually dolphins and not whales. Are you confused? Well, so am I. But hey, that's most of the time really, in a lot of things in my life. But it's also science. You see, when you picture a whale, you'll often think of one that may be large and beautiful and incredibly peaceful, because they're often fine with humans coming up to them, swimming with them, and more. It's a crime that we hunt them the way that we do and have over the years. And karma? Well, it has a way of paying such things back by making certain peaceful creatures into real jerks when they want to be. Which is exactly what a sperm whale is, some of the time at least. Now, there have been reports of sperm whales having very long memories. How long Long, you may ask? Well, they've been known to remember human ships and then later ram into them. Some claim that those were accidental, while others are not so convinced. And to be fair, the sperm whale can be a very calm creature, and oftentimes their biggest threats are other whales. That also includes the orca, which might make it an even bigger jerk, but I'll let you be the judge. So why am I putting them on this list of creatures that can fight a shark? Well, it's simple. It's their size is rather impressive. The male of the species can easily get over 18 meters in length, and even the females can go above 12. Most great white sharks will only make it above 6 meters on certain occasions, and the only sharks that are bigger than the sperm whale is the filter feeder shark. Plus, these whales go around in pods, so if a shark were to come around, they would gang up on it and take it out. There is strength in numbers and all that, but being absolutely massive? Well, that also helps as well. Number 18. Giant and Colossal Squids now, this is a fight that I would have loved to have seen in the deep, because the potential for greatness is absolutely there. 
When it comes to squids, you don't even think of them as being the fighting type, but that's the deceptive thing about them. They don't get spotted enough in fights to make them revered as being a brawler. It doesn't mean that they can't scrap with the best of them, though. Ironically, and continuing a trend that I've accidentally got going on, the biggest threat to these squids are the sperm whale, who have no issues going up against these creatures of the deep. But while the squids do lose more times than not, they always leave a mark because they're not exactly small in the least. Speaking on their size, the giant squid can measure up to 13 meters long, and possibly even longer, because we don't get to study their species that often, we don't really know. Most of that length is in their legendary tentacles, and while the colossal squid is known to be shorter, it's stockier, and that makes it a threat in its own right. So, how would a giant colossal squid take on a shark? Well, it would wrap its tentacles around the shark's body, and then use its beak, <laughs> yes, they have beaks, to take chunks out of it. That would be a greater tactic than you may realize, as sharks are not exactly the most flexible of creatures. And once they're ensnared, they'd have a hard time getting away. All of that being said, if the shark was to get the drop on a squid, a single bite could likely kill them. But then again, the squids are also able to use ink, which could help them to escape or even get the drop on their sharky foes. Number 17. Saltwater Crocodiles now, I will admit you may not picture a shark going up against a saltwater crocodile for a whole lot of reasons. The biggest one is that sharks tend to live in the deep oceans or seas of the world, and the saltwater crocodile tends to live in a river, a swamp, or some other shallow area. So, do these two even cross paths? Well, the answer would be actually yes. There are sharks that live in or near freshwater places that the crocodiles also dwell in. And furthermore, while crocodiles are known for river living, they're not exactly afraid to get out there and see if there's a food supply better. After all, in nature, you do have to go where the food is. That's also where things become interesting, because if it's the right kind of shark, a saltwater crocodile can absolutely meet one in the field of combat and win. Now let's do a size comparison of the two big guns, the saltwater crocodile and the great white shark. The size and weight of the shark and crocodiles are remarkably similar, with a crocodile being capable of up to 907 kilograms in weight, measuring over 6 meters long. A great white shark? Well, it can be 1,088 kilograms and reach 6 meters in length. And so on the whole, they're not much bigger or heavier than each other, but could a saltwater crocodile actually defeat a great white shark? The answer is probably not. If they were to tussle, it would be out in the open waters, and that's where the shark has the advantage. Crocodiles can be fast, when they're on dry land or at the water's edge, and they're known for their first strike capability and are very good at what they do. Sharks, meanwhile, are not exactly afraid to dive deep and then lunge at foes from underneath. However, if a saltwater crocodile and a smaller kind of shark, even one, say, like a bull shark were to cross paths near an edge, well, then the croc could use its powerful jaws to beat the shark, and sharks have been recorded being beaten by crocs in the past. Number 16. The Humpback Whale now, I'm not done talking about whales yet. This time, I'm going to address the humpback whale, which is one of the most popular species of whales in the world. They're almost one of the biggest as they can grow to over 17 meters and can be over 40 metric tons, and that makes for a really big ass whale. Now, unlike some of the other whales that I've talked about, this one is only known to eat small things like krill, so the shark is definitely not on the menu when it comes to their eating habits, but that does not mean that it won't take one on. Oh no, it's all about the situation and the context. Now remember, even a docile animal is capable of violence, even when faced off against to superior foe. And much like others of its kind, what the humpback whale has going for it is the incredible bulk that it has. Again, it weighs over 40 metric tons, meaning that if it wanted to, it could smack a shark silly with its tail or fins and that shark would be sent running. Now it is true that the shark would likely use its smaller size to get the jump on the whale, but that would only help it get a first bite or two before that whale begins to fight back. Plus, given the sheer size of the whale, the shark would need to take a whole lot of bites or just kill it and by that point the whale and its pod would descend on the shark or the shark would be full and then just leave either way it's not exactly going to swim away with a kill number 15 leopard seal 
Now, as I just showed you, sometimes having a whole lot of bulk can help you in a fight, and when it comes to the leopard seal, well, they have plenty of it. The overall length of adults is 2.4 to 3.5 meters, and they can weigh anywhere between 200 to 600 kilograms. So many shark species will have the edge on them, which includes the great white. But what may surprise you is that there's evidence that these leopard seals do regularly feed on sharks. In 2021, a study would be conducted that found shark remains in the scat of leopard seals and visible signs of struggle with sharks on seals' bodies. So not only did the shark and seals battle, but they apparently one despite having taken damage. That's not what you would think about when it comes to a shark versus a seal encounter because many seal species are known to be the prey of sharks. It should be noted that based on the scat and the wounds, they were going after species like the ghost shark, which are smaller than the leopard seal and add some great context to the situation. However, even with the proof that the shark was on the menu, scientists have still not exactly been sure why the seals are going after the sharks in the first place. Leopard seals are apex predators in their own regions, so it is possible that they were just asserting dominance over anything and everything that they saw. Or maybe they just wanted to see what sharks tasted like. Either way, they ate them, and that's a scientific fact. Number 14. Moray Eels now, I will admit this is a very specific case and a very specific story, but it does still count anyways. Now, when you think of an eel, you may think of a slender and somewhat small creature that's menacing, but not exactly up to taking on a shark. When it comes to the giant moray eel, however, it becomes a different story. They can be up to 3 meters in length and weigh 29 kilograms. Not exactly the most intimidating thing in the ocean, but they can use that to their advantage. For example, they are an ambush predator. What they do is hide in reef caves and simply wait for the prey to arrive. And when it does, they'll strike, bite down with their powerful jaws, and the prey is not getting away. In this story, footage of a giant moray eel saw it finding a white tip reef shark going next to its cave, and so it bit down on its tail and then began to reel it in. The giant moray maneuvered the small shark into its mouth and swallowed it alive all the way to the shark's tail. And although the moray eel seemed to have vanquished the reef shark, it inexplicably regurgitated it and swam away. So what exactly happened? Well, some think that the shark may have well been too big for the eel to swallow, or that the taste wasn't to its liking. Who said fish can't be picky eaters after all? But even with this loss, it was still a loss for the shark, because the eel wouldn't let it go once it had bitten down on its tail, and it was only by the grace of the moray eel that it was set free. And sure, the eel would not be able to do this to a great white, but still though, small shark species should beware. Number 13. Giant Pacific Octopus I've already talked about squids, but what about an octopus? Could one of them take on a shark and win? Well, as in all things, context and situations are key. For example, the biggest species of the bunch is the giant Pacific octopus, which can weigh anywhere around 71 kilograms at times, measuring 4.2 meters when you get them from arm to arm. So if you put that up against the smaller shark species, it could totally take one on. Furthermore, this species likes to eat shrimp, crabs, scallops, cockles, and many more other marine life. So that means that it has quite the diverse diet, and why not put a shark into the menu if you think you can get one? Furthermore, the species and octopuses as a whole are known for being some of the smallest creatures of the invertebrate line. They're smart enough to recognize certain people in aquariums and then respond to them due to that remembrance. They can even use their tentacles to solve puzzles, and they can make use out of items that are given to them. Plus, their tentacles and inking capability could play havoc with a shark should the two ever decide to cross paths out in the ocean. And while it may not be the top-tier opponent for a shark, it could take one down if the situation was right. Number 12. Green Anaconda now, I'll admit, out of all the animals I've shown you so far, the green anaconda is the one that is least likely to take on a shark and win. Now, that's not to say that this mighty snake isn't powerful, because it totally is. But it would take a very specific kind of shark to come up to it for the snake to prevail in a fight. In terms of size, they can be over 9 meters in length and weigh 250 kilograms. They are the largest snake in the world, after all, and that's pretty good. 
they definitely extend farther than most sharks. But what the shark has the edge here in is its speed and bulk. There are certain sharks that the green anaconda could meet in its habitat, which includes the bull shark, and ironically the bull shark measures up almost perfectly with the green anaconda itself. However, the shark is overall larger than the snake and would be able to get the snake much more quickly. Plus, that green anaconda is big into constricting its foes to death, and that's definitely difficult to do to a shark, especially a big one that won't let itself be squeezed very easily. Number 11. Hippopotamus now, some of you may be absolutely chomping at the bit to see a hippopotamus on this list. That's because you know the truth about these creatures that many people have chosen to ignore. Movies and certain children's games have painted the hippopotamus to be nothing more than a hungry creature that have girth, but it's so much more than that. They are one of the most deadly creatures and murderers in the world, and if a shark was stupid enough to take on one of them, that shark would not live long enough to regret the thought. Now, before I get to the proof of them taking on sharks, I will sell you on how big these things are. They can be over 4.8 meters long, weighing anywhere near 4,500 kilograms, and that means that even when compared to the great white shark, they can still weigh four times more than them, which is a lot of bulk. What's more, they're incredibly aggressive creatures, almost literally to a fault. They're not afraid to go after anything that trespasses in their area. They've bitten humans in half, they knocked over boats, and one time, a bull shark thought that it may be a good idea to go after a herd of them. Would you like to guess how that went for it? To be fair, the shark was likely in the area hunting fish when it saw the hippos, but the moment that it got within their range, they began to lunge after it, and they were willing to take it out without a whole lot of issues. Plus, there were a lot of hippos in that body of water, so even if it had gotten away from one, it may not have gotten away from the others because of how fast that they can move in the water. Sharks would be wise to stay away from hippos in the end. Number 10. Lampreys this next one is a bit of a specific scenario because lampreys are not known as killers and one look at them will show you why. However, what they are known as are parasites. They'll use their nightmarish mouths to literally latch onto a creature and suck out whatever they need from them. So a creature eats and then the lamprey will take what it needs from them so that they can live on it as well. Depending on the species of the lamprey, they'll even go after a shark, which has mystified many scientists because it's not clear sometimes how they're able to hang on to the sharks, let alone feed off of them. But they are clearly able to do it and the sharks can't bend over to get rid of them, so the sharks are definitely on the menu. Number 9. Dunkleosteus now, I have to admit that I'm reaching for some of these because of how imposing and powerful the sharks are, but in ancient times, there were plenty of things that could have well taken them on, and the Dunkleosteus, which I've probably mispronounced, was one of them. What helps to make this creature so distinctive was that it had armor-like plating at the front of its body. This would help add to its incredible bite force, which was much more than enough to kill anything that got into its mouth. In fact, it also had the ability to shut its mouth so quickly that it was likened to be that of a suction force. This creature was easily one of the top tier predators of its time, and the sharks of today should be glad that it's not in the waters anymore. That's because they may not have survived the experience. Number 8. Dolphins now, in a surprising twist, it's not exactly clear how this all came to be, but if you were to put a dolphin in the same waters as a shark, that shark would often run away because it doesn't want to mess with the dolphin. What's more, there are numerous stories about sharks trying to get close to humans in order to get a meal, and then some dolphins will swoop in and rush to protect the humans so that the shark will know that they're off limits. They've been cataloged rushing towards sharks and ramming their softer parts so that they'll back off. And if you need further proof, Mythbusters even once did a test about this relationship and made a lifelike looking dolphin, lured in a shark with some fish, and then brought their fake dolphin in. Despite the food being there for the taking, the shark would flee away every single time. So yeah, believe it or not, dolphins can actually beat up a shark. Number 7. Blue Whales well, here we go again. At up to 30 meters long and weighing over 100 tons, the blue whale easily outsizes a great white shark, 
And as noted before, bulk is sometimes everything you need to get something off of your tail and out of your life. In fact, the blue whale is the largest mammal and one of the largest creatures in the world today. And so for a shark to pick a fight with a blue whale, that would be whale stupid. Especially if there's a pod of them around and they all notice the shark at the same time. The only thing that the shark has the advantage on would be bite force. The blue whale does not have any teeth and they are filter feeders. But with their size, they don't exactly need them to ward off a shark as all it would take is a good whack. Number 6. The Anglerfish now, this one, I'm not even convinced that they could actually take on a shark, but as in all things, with the right context and situation, they could, at the very least, hurt one. The reason for that? Well, the anglerfish is one of the worst kinds of predator you can meet in the water because of its ability to live in the midnight zone. That's the place where sunlight cannot reach, so creatures like the anglerfish live in pitch black and are totally fine with it. However, the anglerfish is also able to produce a light via its head extension, and when fish are distracted by that light, that's when the anglerfish bites down on them with their ruthless jaws. And so, in theory, if a small enough shark were to get close to an anglerfish's light, that fish could strike the shark before it was able to react. Plus, if there's a school of these anglerfish and they all attack the shark at once, well, I suppose that that could work as well. Number 5. Plesiosaurus. And now back to the ancient times we go. This time we're looking at a creature known as the Plesiosaurus. It was a somewhat large creature of the time and was also a carnivore, so it would have attacked a shark had it seen some of them that it felt it could actually eat. What really would have made it a challenge for the sharks of today was that it would have been just as good a swimmer as they are, if not better. Their bodies were tuned so well that they could actually go through the water at a nice clip and that could have made them a problem for sharks. I suppose we'll never know for sure, but it's not wrong to speculate on things sometimes. Number 4. The Hagfish this next one is another specific scenario, but it's one that also speaks to the evolution of a creature known as the hagfish. You see, hagfish has a trick that it can trip up anyone or anything, even sharks. It releases a quick setting slime that clogs up the predator's gills, causing it to gag, choke, and flee. In fact, National Geographic was actually able to get a video of this taking place. The shark tries to take on the hagfish, and it ends up getting slimed for its efforts. It is absolutely disgusting, but it also clearly works. Number 3. Sea Snakes this one is more of a what-if scenario that many have pondered over the years, because as we've learned from our study of animals, it doesn't really matter if you're the biggest or fastest in the fight if you have something that can kill pretty much anyone. And by that, I mean venom. That brings us to the question of sea snakes. Many wonder if these snakes bit a shark, would it actually kill them? Well, no, and that's for one basic reason. While sea snakes are incredibly venomous, their fangs are not big enough to penetrate most of the shark species' skins. And as such, they wouldn't be able to inject that venom and actually win the fight. Number 2. Other Sharks now you may be surprised to see this entry, but here's the thing, while we often like to think of sharks as a giant family of underwater death, they're actually not that unified as a species. They've been documented many times over to cannibalize one another if they're low in food. In fact, if you were to go back to ancient times, the Megalodon, which was the greatest of all sharks in terms of aggressiveness, size, and power, would eat other sharks on the regular in order to satiate its ravenous hunger. Some even feel that it would eat fellow megalodons, and that helped to make the species go extinct. Fast forward to the modern day and you'll still see some of those tendencies. It also helps that certain shark species are more aggressive than others and are willing to eat almost anything. Tiger sharks, bull sharks, great whites, and more have all proven themselves capable of eating their own kind and being quite uncaring about the entire ordeal. And as they say, sometimes you are your own worst enemy, and sharks fighting other sharks is less uncommon than you may have thought. Number 1. Leviathan 
Now, before you start freaking out that I'm about to unleash a leviathan from the Bible or some other kind of mythology, I'm not. I'm talking about a sea creature from ancient times that was called leviathan and was the biggest and most aggressive whale to have ever existed. That's right, we began and we're ending with whales. How big and powerful was this thing? Well, it was over 15 meters long, and many felt that it could have weighed up to 50 tons. That puts it at over twice the size of a great white shark, and many times the weight of one. It was so big and powerful, in fact, that it was easily considered to be one of the apex predators of ancient times. There are some who would even say that it would regularly scrap with the infamous Megalodon, and the Leviathan would win its fights many times over. So, when you're tackling the biggest of sharks in ancient times and winning, well, you can wipe out just about any shark from modern times, which makes it a good thing that this creature is now extinct. That's all from the realm of sharks and the creatures out there that can beat them more times than not. Were you surprised by some of the creatures that were on this list, and which ones would you like to see fight a shark in the future? Do you know any other creatures that could have been on this list? Let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Be sure to check out all of the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time. I love you!